Welcome back. You're watching Build Your Portfolio. Now moving on, one stock that we need to focus on from the mid-cap IT space is Intellect Design. Uh, if you quickly pull up the stock as well and see what the kind of returns that we've seen with regards to Intellect Design on a YTD or a one-year perspective as well, because mid-cap IT has really played out really well. Uh, today as well, the stock is trading in the positive with gains of around three-tenths of a percent coming in there. On a YTD basis, 24-25%, but it has been a pretty volatile ride uh, with regards to Intellect Design. And if we can just have a one-year chart as well, 95%. So it's a vertical up uh, spike that we've seen on a one-year basis as well. Now, uh, overall, uh, if you see with regards to my order traction is concerned, that is pretty much intact with regards to Intellect Design in the first quarter. And uh, the confidence that the management has exuberated as well, uh, that is also pretty much strong. The revenues have grown by 24%. And that was slightly below what the street was estimating. And this was an account of deferment in the recognition of two big deals uh, with a revenue of almost around 17 to 18 crores uh, that got spilled to the second quarter of FY19. Uh, but to discuss this, whether this could be a good bet uh, from the mid-cap IT space. Uh, joining us on the show are, uh, is Amit Chandra, IT analyst at HDFC Securities. Uh, welcome to the show, Amit. If you could just help us understand. Now, yes, there has been weakness in the first quarter of FY19 uh, in terms of revenue visibility if you talk about intellect design. Uh, but going ahead, uh, what do you think are the key drivers that one needs to watch out for? Yeah, so like if you see, in, uh, see like, typically for a product business, and uh, the uh, uh, quarterly variations are there, so we don't have to see the quarterly variations, but we have to see the you know uh, bigger picture. The bigger picture is that the addressable market opportunity for these kind of you know what we call it like fintech companies is huge. So the addressable opportunity, uh, so the addressable opportunity for intellect is around 21 billion dollars, and uh, you know there is huge shift happening from you know. Uh, Bill to buy. So now enterprises are now spending more on buying, you know, the products from third party rather than, you know, building it in-house. So we are seeing a huge shift that is happening there. And Intellect has a, you know, uh, 15, 15 product bouquet where each of the product has the capability to do like 25 to 30 million dollars each, like each of the products. So the opportunity for Intellect is huge and they have invested heavily in sales and marketing and they are investing heavily in R&D. So they are you know, well poised to have like 25-30% growth for the next few years. So you now we are very much comfortable on the revenue growth. So 20% revenue growth they can do for the next 2-3 years. Yeah. Right. So, Amit, if you could yeah. just help us understand, if you see with regards to where deal size is concerned, because that is one of the biggest matrix uh, that we need right. to watch out for with regards to IT companies as well, as far as the quality of deals. Is that right. improving uh, with regards to intellect design? Yeah, so there has been a clear shift in the quality of deals, as you mentioned. So, if you see from the last year to the last year to this year, there has been around 2x increase in the size of license revenues that they were you know, getting for their products. And in some cases, it is 30% higher than competition. So this clearly signifies the, you know, uh, quality of the product and the acceptance of intellect products in the market. So that is a very important uh, change that we have also seen. And obviously, the, you know, uh, deal funnel. So deal funnel that they're chasing is around 527 million um, with 134 opportunities and out of that 34 are active pursuits. And after that, the size of the average size of deals have increased, say from like you know one one two million deal to around three to eight, you know, uh, three million to eight million dollar deals. So that increase in the size of deals, the increase in win ratios, their focus on which deals to chase, and you know the quality of their product, the acceptance, the acceptance of the market has increased. So basically, we you know feel that you know, building these kind of products it takes a lot of time. So you have to get a lot of around. You know, uh, uh, uh no, accolade from the industry analysts as well. So they have they have got a lot of uh, you know, accolades from say an I uh, uh, say from IBS intelligence from Gartner Forrester. So these things help in you know, uh, you know competing with uh, the competition which is huge there in the US and the UK market. So the and and, and the and the competitors are having you know. Uh, Huge balance sheets and they have huge cash to spend, which Intellect unfortunately you know, doesn't have. Yeah. Right. So, Amit, if you could just help me understand now, with regards to where the order backlog is concerned, that stands at almost 1,190 uh, crores. Uh, for how many quarters does it actually give you revenue visibility? 
so uh, the order book uh, that they have mentioned is not uh, you know uh, the order book for the next 12 months but what it actually provides is that the orders that they have booked you know till this quarter so uh, typically the um, it also includes a lot of you know subscription revenues so if you will see the you know uh, order book order book uh, break up So out of the 11 and 90 crore order book that they have mentioned, around 950 is license plus ANC and implementation order book, and 240 crore is the subscription based order book. So this so this subscription order book is basically the annual revenue stream that they get. Okay. So the large trans so the large transformation deal that they have on last quarter is actually 100 crore subscription uh, uh, order book. Uh, yeah. Right, and apart from that as well, if we see with regards to where a preferential issue that the promoters are intending to do of around 100 crores, uh, do you think mm -hmm. that is something that will actually help the company turn net cash positive and boost the client's confidence as well? See, like uh, you know, if you see the history of the company, the you know history of capital raising of the company, so the company has been investing in R&D and uh, you know the investment in R&D for the next year is planned to be around you uh, know. 200 crores. Out of that, 120 crores is in, you know, R&D investment that is capitalized, and 80 crores is taken on P&L. So out of this 200 crores uh, R&D investment, uh, they have uh, earlier raised uh, capital through rice issue last year, and uh, they have also taken an in principle approval to, you know, raise 500 crores through, you know. Various routes, uh, like the whole, you know, a QIP and all. But promoter putting in 100 crores is showing their confidence in the business that they see that this, you know, this business can grow at 20-25 percent, and they have confidence in the product that they have built. So obviously, it 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 will boost the investor confidence and the confidence that you know, uh, the quality of products that they have is actually you know matching the competition and you know has the capability to grow. So, so your yeah. understanding with regards to growth uh, what is your expectation with regards to where dollar revenues concerned for FY19 and uh, what's the kind of valuation that you would uh, give it right now see like for FY19 we are expecting 17.5% uh, growth so that is 198 million dollars we are expecting and for FY20 we are expecting 20% growth so uh, but the growth will be in the range of 17 to 20% so uh, and in terms of valuations like we are valuing the company at 2.2 times ev by sales so, so because of the huge investment in r&d and hna uh, we value these these kind of companies on ev by sales and uh, you know, if you see the comparable companies of intellect they all trade at very high valuations in the us and the european market so all trade at say 6 7 times ev by sales so we are we have taken 70% discount to that and we are just valuing it at 2.2 times and we are getting a target price of 280 rupees right and amit if someone has to watch out for with regards to intellect design as a part of a portfolio uh, do you mm -hmm. think an I intellect design is a better bet uh, from a 3 to 5 year perspective yes yeah, so obviously like uh, you have to see the investments that they have they, you know they have actually made in the last few years to build that kind of like you know uh, like product portfolio so building a product portfolio is not a one and exercise you need like you need to put a lot of investments you know to uh, you know have a vision for that right so now the investments are complete and now the you uh, know uh, so now now it's time to reap the benefits that you know the company has invested in the last say, five years so now they have a portfolio of say 15 products and these products are you know like 100% 100% digital products cloud ready and uh, their acceptances are also increased in the market so now they are winning license revenues so now as they will win license revenues then uh, now we will see an uh, expansion in the ebitda margins also because the license revenues is directly flowing into ebitda because the cost you have already incurred so now you now with you know the expansion in deal wins and you know more and more deal wins the ebitda margins will expand and the company will turn profitable Right. So I think that it's the right time to invest, and we also have a buy rating in the company. Right. So Amit, two eighty-five is your target price from a one-year perspective. If someone has to look at uh, the next three to five years, what's the kind of upside that an investor should watch out for? 
So like, uh, you know, currently we provide the target prices for one year. But, uh, you know, as I said earlier also, the company has the capability to grow at 20% to 25% for the next few years because the kind of spending that we are seeing, that spending is not, a, you know, uh, uh, spending for the next one or two years. So at least uh, three to four years visibility is there in terms of spending and, you know, the enterprises are just, you know, shifting their focus from in-house spending to outsourcing like typically in the product space and they have a wide range of portfolio so that portfolio caters to a wide range of banking products and they're they're totally 100% you know, focused on BFSI right. and BFSI is a space where you know, the spending is the highest on uh, on on uh, uh, basically fintechs right yeah. all right Amit pleasure speaking to you and thank you for sharing your views so buy rating coming in there 273.33 is the consensus uh, target price as well and majority of the brokerages BNK Securities Spark Capital MK Global as well as the Philip Capital all of them have a buy rating and the target price uh, ranges from 250 rupees on the lower side to a 320 rupees on the upside with regards to intellect design and the all, and all the investments as Amit has been mentioning are expected to now start playing out for the company as well but complete out of time, but that is a wrap on this edition of Build Your Portfolio. Thanks for watching, and lots more lined up on the other side. Please stay tuned.